Hey there, welcome back to Board TV, and today we will be reporting this Pelia Expresso. Now, I got this plant from Muddy Boots a few months ago. I used to keep it on my wall, but now it's grown so nicely. I started a drape over that I decided I will be putting this in a hanging planter. Now, I'm going to use this pot right here to repot it into because it's got this cool little self watering tray at the bottom which really comes in handy because it stores some of the water after you wet the plant and this is perfect especially when you put plants in a hanging basket because it's just a little harder to get to them to wet them so this actually keeps them nice and moist until you do I picked this up at Muddy Boots as well anyway I'm just get my gloves on and try to be as delicate as possible while removing this plant from the pot because I find uh, this form of Pelia is very very well sorry this variety of Pelia is very very brittle and the slightest touch and it snaps off so what I'm going to do is look around the base and try to find areas where I could safely put my hands uh, to brace this plant and get it out of the pot without damaging uh, any of the stems coming from the, the root system. So, uh, here I go. Now I've braced my hands in a clear area and I'm just going to squeeze around the pot a bit to help loosen up the soil. Now I made sure the plant was good and dry before I did this because Peleas have got really soft hairy roots so it's like the slightest thing and you would end up ripping apart the entire root system like they're really soft and fuzzy so the best time to do this is when the plant is almost or completely dry I'm just gonna scratch around at the root ball a little bit now loosen up those roots before I tuck it into the new pot with the soil that should be good enough I'll probably pinch around the top a little bit also just to loosen those up help those roots to spread after they get into the new pot now this plant was growing mostly to one side so instead of putting it dead center I'm going to tuck it all the way back so that hopefully some of that growth from the front could attach itself to the soil that I'll be putting ahead of it and maybe farm roots because you just need a small piece of this plant like a cutting in order to make new growth or to make a new plant so hopefully by putting majority of the soil at the front and tucking the plant to the back some of this would root and fill it out a little nicer now I usually purchase my soil from Muddy Boots as well you get a bag this big for $15 which is kind of perfect for me. It is packed with nutrients. It doesn't really harden and clump. So I usually just buy that and use it for most of my gardening needs. Now I'm just gonna finish fill out around the pot. Trying to be as delicate as possible still with uh, the growth here at the top because as I said, it is kind of brittle. And the last thing I want right now is to end up breaking the entire top off of this. Now that that bit is done, I'm just going to take a little time to untangle the arms as a few of them have grown and intertwined with each other. Just going to loosen them up a bit so it's much easier for me to sit this plant in the basket. But before I get to all of that, I'm just going to give it a little bit of water, let it drain for a few minutes and then work on trying to fit it into the basket. Now 
One thing to know about these pileas is that they love lots of moisture. I find that if you just give it a nice spritz every other day or maybe every few days, it would just perk up and look amazing. You don't even have to wet the roots. If you just give them a nice little mist, the plant usually just springs to life. So that's what I do. Now, I know this bottle that I'm using has like a comb and scissors and everything else and it doesn't look like a gardening bottle, but it does get the trick done. I got this from the $3 store for $3, which is kind of perfect. And I usually just go around misting the few plants that I have that love a lot of moisture. Actually, sometimes I would even give my succulents a nice little misting in between watering every two to three weeks. And now for what I think is the hardest part of this entire endeavor. Getting this plant into this hanging basket without damaging the majority of the little arms that are hanging off. Now it's really easy to pot a plant in its younger stages and put it in a hanging basket, water it, fertilize it, watch it grow and trail over. That is, that's an easy, that's an easy step. But when you've already got you know long leggy pieces hanging off sometimes when you put them in the basket and you you try to like sit it in the bottom the ropes or cords could end up sawing the arms off or crushing them or ugh, this is the hardest part so just be careful take your time take it slow you've got all the time in the world don't do this if you don't have all the time in the world too and you know get it right and get it settled in. The best part about this is as long as you've got this plant safely situated in this planter you have never got to take it out again. I mean unless something very unfortunate happens this could sit here for the rest of its life. Now this all depends on how well you treat the plant, how often you water it, how much direct sunlight it gets, and also how often you fertilize it to keep the nutrients of the soil up. Now, I've been keeping this plant on the wall right below where I, I'm hanging it right now, and it used to get full evening sun from the west. I believe it should thrive up here in this hanging planter. And there you have it, the finished product. I managed to repot this without breaking off too many of the arms. As I said, I had to be really delicate because this plant is kind of brittle. So be gentle and good luck. If you like these macrame hanging baskets, then you could find them at Nature Care Garden Center. That's the garden center on the way up to the airport on the back road just above the cemetery. They carry them in a variety of colors and styles. That's also where I pick up the majority of my succulents. Thanks for watching.